Hey guys, Adam back with you on the 2000 Chrysler Town & Country 3.8 power steering pump. Uh, we got her in and uh, we're going to show you here right quick what you're going to need to do to uh, get yours finished. Uh, got a serpentine belt tool here. First thing you're going to need to do is get that tool onto the idler pulley down there. Or I'm sorry, not the idler pulley, the damn, the tensioner pulley. I don't know if you can see it or not, but you just put it on that nut there, or that bolt rather, and uh, just pull towards you so you can pop the belt off. Okay, once you get that done, you're going to come down here to the bottom side and take your wheel off, of course, and you're going to have to take that off and that off. 21 millimeter, both sides there. Uh, you're going to have to take your caliper here off, 12 millimeter bolts back there, take those out, pull that off. Uh, you got a 34 millimeter on your axle nut, I've got an 18 millimeter here on your um, tie rod end, and then just break everything loose. Uh, you saw everything in the floor here before. All of that will hang down. Make sure you get a piece of wire to hang up the, your uh, caliper here. Hang it up, up here on your strut tower on the spring. And then get underneath. You can see where the axle here is literally in your way to get this finished. Let's pull it out of the transmission. Yes, we need an axle, but it's not popping yet. It's just lost all its grease. Um, there's our power steering pump. Uh, you need an 18 millimeter to get this line off right here. Uh, I prefer a line wrench. I used an 18 millimeter long though. It worked okay. Didn't strip anything out. Um, you've got right back behind it is another um, hose. I don't know if you can see that um, this stuff here. Just pull it back and you just got a hose clamp behind there. Just take that hose clamp. Oh, no lights, no lights. Can't see. Scared of the dark. Hey. Okay. And there's the bracket that I uh, showed you before. Ah, just got to Let me get in here. Get a better view. 15 millimeter bolts on the back side of that. Uh, 15 millimeter nut, I'm sorry, on the back side of the pump. Then a 15 millimeter bolt going into the block. I don't know if you can see it back there, but you've got a. Your main hose going into the pump at the top there, you've got to take off. That can be fun. No fun, really. That probably took the longest of this whole stupid job. And then on the front side of the pump, you've got three 15 millimeter bolts underneath, or I should say behind this pulley here. Um, they kind of stagger. Um, got one at the top, one in the middle, one around on the back side. Don't know if you can see them. But you're going to want a 15 millimeter offset long to get those off. And then uh, the pump, just literally where you take the axle out, falls right out of this hole here. And put it back together the same way you took it apart. Uh, should take you about two hours. Maybe two hours and 30 minutes pressing the new pulley. That took a little while. I had to press the new pulley on because that was actually what happened to this one was the pulley busted and uh, broke in the center. And the pump was a salvage yard pump anyway, so I just went on and replaced it so that I don't have to do it again. But anyway, I hope this helps you guys. I couldn't find any videos on YouTube, uh, so I just got out here and looked at it, and that seemed to be the easiest way to do it. Uh, it's taken me about two hours. Uh, well, actually, about two hours and 30 minutes total. So, hope this helps. And until next time, you guys have a great day.